Oh, that's funny. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? This is another episode of First and Frame Rates. I think this is episode 12. And like we stated last week, we were going to have another guest on the show. And before we even get started, I'm going to let him introduce himself. What's going on, DJ? Hey, what's up, folks? It's your boy, DJ81. I have a channel on YouTube. I've named it Skins for Life. I've been on this YouTube thing for quite some time, but been doing it quietly behind the scenes. So, Yeah, and, and I'm going to tell you something. I've been trying to get you on my old channel for, like, years, but finally I got you in, so that's great. And so we can get into a few topics today. And also, um, as usual, my co-host is here, Bills. What's going on, man? Chillin' man, chillin', waiting to dive into these topics. Yeah, once again, another week, and we're going to get into it and see how everything goes. So today, you know, uh, um, not today, but this weekend, we all know what's been going on, the whole situation with the quote-unquote protests and this fake outrage of a lot of things, of well, a lot of things that the president has said, and... um People are basically just missing the mark on that situation. We're going to dive into that, and we're also going to also talk about the winners and losers of week three in the NFL like we normally do. And um, one topic I, um, we discussed right before we got on, um, why is people um, dropping Madden like a bad habit? No one has been talking about Madden. No one has really been playing about playing Madden. And quite frankly, nobody has been really even been talking about issues with Madden. So um, that's actually pretty interesting. And everything else is going to be freestyle off the top of our head whenever it comes to us. But those are the main three topics. So um, what do y'all want to talk about first? You want to talk about the uh, protest? You want to talk about Madden? You want to talk about... Well, we're going to put the NFL thing um, later on like we normally do. So, um... Uh, I mean, we could get we could get Madden out of the way first. Yeah, let's get Madden out of the way. Oh, yeah, I I I, I get it. Anyone so, else has? No, 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 I mean, yeah, pretty right, much exactly. <laughs> All right, uh, I I can say for the past two weeks, honestly, even we haven't really talked about it on this uh, show that um we haven't really talked about Madden. And on top of that, there's other people in the sim community and even people on the outside of the community haven't really been posting anything on Twitter. Nobody had any gripes. Nobody said anything good or bad about Madden. And quite well, frankly, you know, there's always, no, mind. let me shut up. Oh, well, you boy, talk, don't you talk, do it. You talking about, <laughs> cause I'm going to, I'm going to start, I'm going to start something. So let me, let me just shut up. Are you talking about that? The, the people who think, uh, we we were the cause of people not caring about any about Matt anymore because of NWO. Oh yeah, of course. Well, anyway, I mean, yeah, you know, they they still make videos and more power to them. But for the most part, ninety those people still roam the earth. <laughs> but, <laughs> Wait, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, well, uh, for the most part, ninety eight percent of the people that's in the community are really returning their heads to live and Madden and NHL and and, and mm. for me, I'm definitely. I'm actually looking for WWE, and I haven't watched wrestling since the Attitude Era. That's how far back I go. But I'm actually in interested in WWE 2K18. So, why is the reason? Why do you guys think that people are not really caring about Madden anymore? Um, Bill, you can go first. Uh, let's let DJ go first. He's a guest. Well, DJ, you can go first. Oh, how nice of you guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, was, I would say. Well, I can only speak for myself, obviously. I would say my reason is because these other games offer more. Uh, just blatantly, they offer more. Uh, I know I tend to get tired of hearing folks uh, talk about, when they talk about Madden, how, you know, it's constantly missing features that, you know, it used to have back in the day. Oh, that's and, a good point. I'm glad you said that because I'm going to bring that up, but go ahead. And how they these people uh, are willing to pay more to have these standard features in the game when you have games like uh, NBA 2 that have like my league, you have MLB to show that offer you pretty much a robust franchise mode, you know, everything that used to come standard in Madden comes standard in those games for a standard price of $60 or 65 wherever how much you pay. But you have folks that are out here willing to pay way more than what you should for a game. But then at the same time, with Madden, this year, the game came out buggy. 
my zones weren't working. Uh, you know, uh, you had gl- weird glitches that would pop up. He had a co- had the coaches that kind of still to this day sometimes pop up in the middle of the field. Um, on oh, a Mike Tomlin. Oh yeah, <laughs> tripping and, and, people, right? And you know what? And I, 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 I would contribute that to online gaming, but I mean, I can't be selfish because I'm an offline gamer. That's still a detriment to the game. Absolutely. Oh yeah, I saw that in an offline game that I played that happened probably the other day. So right. I'm like, they released these patches, or I know they released a rush patch because of Hurricane Irma, but. At the same time, we're supposed to be waiting for another patch. That's supposed to be like the full. And with these games, other games are out. There are people that just can't wait. They can't wait for Madden to get his act right um, after it's released. Yeah, like and, last and, you know, year, and, and, and you know that is really. I mean, that's a, that's the basic case of it because you know everybody who noticed that the zones were bad out the rip and now we do have other games out here that do have issues day one i mean i i can even say even with nba 2k a lot of people were complaining about it but there were very small issues with that game when it first released and and even though they did come out with a patch to make it better it's nowhere near to the problems that it had with compared to madden's problems and on top of that nba live that game came out pretty solid. It's just at the end of the day, when I look at the two games, I'm not going to have time for live because 2K is just more robust because I'm a franchise guy like you are, DJ. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's just that it's not a bad game. It's just I don't have time. And that's the way I feel about Madden. I mean, you're looking at it from the standpoint where people are willing to pay more to get more features, which that could be a totally different topic. And it's bullshit because $65, $65, you should be getting stuff that's, that's been in the game since the PS2 days. Why should I pay? Why should I pay for that stuff now? And also I just think that people are just starting to just get lagged out, get jet, jet lag and just getting tired of watching the, EA Sports football title being released every year, no matter you know how well the game may be produced, it's just that, okay, here's another Madden, uh, well, here's 2K, here's NHL, here's Live, I'm just going to take my business elsewhere and spend more time with those games, so I, 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 that's where I'm going to come at with that with that argument, but I'm going to let Bills go first and or go second, and ask him you know, why people are dropping Madden in general um, I, th- I mean, I think DJ made a lot of great points, and to add on to that, it's just like, not only are these games coming out with more to offer, but these games are coming out, and they just overall play a better brand of their sport. Even as good as Madden is, they play a better brand of their sport, and it's one of those things where I don't find myself putting this game down to pick up Madden. It's like, I played Madden. It was really good. These other games have come out now. Madden had its time where I exclusively played it, and now that time is over. And will I go back to it? Probably. But, I mean, another thing we talked about was my work schedule. Because I work Sundays, I don't catch a lot of football, so naturally that urge kind of goes away a little bit after I accept the fact that I'm not going to be able to watch, you know, most of the games – Because I can catch it every now and then at work, but I'm not, like, you know, watching them all day. So it's it's one of those things where, you know, I'm geared up for the NBA season. 2K comes out. 2K is a great game. Um, It's a bad situation as far as me playing Madden because so many games have come out and are so good. Even FIFA today is, is another example. So that pushes Madden even further on the back burner. I mean, and then as far as... You know, people being tired of Madden, period, as a series, I can totally see that. I can totally see that. I mean, and again, I think I mean I, you, that there, it's been the only legit NFL game for almost, what, 11, 12 years mm-hmm. now? I mean, that's a long time for any franchise to just be making the same type of game without any competition. It, it, yeah, because EA it gets isn't old. doing themselves any favors by putting out a game that moves and pretty much looks, I won't say as far as graphics, but looks the same as far as when it's moving. Um, people have talked about for years the movement system. 
you know, uh, being antiquated. So if they were to put out a game that looked different, then maybe people would feel differently. But. Well, I mean, looking different is one thing, because I, I mean, but you still have animations in the game from Madden 10, Madden 8. You know what I'm saying? It's, but that's what I'm saying. It's like further back. When they yeah, watch, you can go when further they back. Exactly. Gameplay, they see these animations, and automatically the game just has the same look to it. The players still run a bit robotic. The foot planning isn't exactly where it needs to be. When people see this, they're going to think, okay, same old Madden. No matter what they patch up and what they add as far as AI is concerned, it will still look like Madden. I think so people lot, just I think, want something new. I think a lot of people, even the naysayers who nitpick Madden all the time, I mean, they do have a point where they feel like this the game is running on old tech. and I mean, you can tell when the same animations do happen. And for me, personally, I'm not saying that Madden is a bad game. It's just that, from my perspective, I look at this game, and, and all of you, both of you guys know, I... I collect a lot of games, and I, I mostly have a lot of sports titles. And when I get the same feeling I get from playing Madden 07 on my original Xbox, if I'm still feel like I'm getting that same experience on a new title, it just it just makes me feel like I don't need to play the new title when I I still have the older stuff. But that, that I mean I'm I know I'm a different breed when it comes to those type of that type of gaming. But that just goes back to what, what I was saying earlier. People just get legitimately jet lagged, you know. You get these trailers, you get these new notes, you get these, you know, these bulletin boards or these blogs out to say, "Oh, this is what Madden's going to be like. This is what Madden's going to be like." And when they get the game, and the game pretty much feels, for, uh, feels like the, for the most part, it, it can feel like the same game from last year. That alone will turn people off and be like, you know, in 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 some cases, some people will want another company to make a game because of the fact that it's another EA Sports football title and mm-hmm. it, it's just the feeling is the experience is not different at least I mean you can say this about a lot of titles that come out every year but lo and behold I mean I'm, I don't know if you guys agree with me or not but 2K with the new animation system they have that game feels totally different from 17. I that I, I agree. I, I, I you agree. know what I'm saying. I get that feeling. It feels totally different. Even with NBA Live, Live hasn't been out for two years, but Live 18 feels totally different from 16. You know, yeah. it, it, it's just a, it's yeah. just a, it just a different feel. So when you play that game, it's not like you're playing the same game that you just dropped off the GameStop and traded in for the new one. You know, so I think at the end of the day, I think people are just having that feeling to where. I mean, like, from my perspective, I think people just having that feeling is like, this is just another game I just got finished playing, so I know I spent my money on it, it is what it is, I'm just going to cut my losses, and there's, you know, MLB still out there, which is still a fantastic baseball game, which can legitimately be, you know, said that it's the same game, but the game is so so damn good, nobody cares. Um, mm-hmm. You can look at uh, I, their NBA 2K coming out, you had live coming out. You got NHL. You got WWE, and we're not even talking about the big blockbusters that are non-sports titles that come out in a month or two. And, yeah, I mean, Battlefront. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Star Wars Battlefront. You got um, more titles. Come, I can't remember all. That. Even within two is about to come out. Yeah, I mean, I mean got, by the time all these games come out, people are gonna be just deleting Madden from their hard drive. Period. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it, well, it's, not it, me. I got four terabytes to work with. Well, we already know your situation. You can have a million games on there and you won't, <laughs> right. you won't delete anything. Right, exactly. But, I mean, for me, I'm looking at Madness. Like, it's sitting all the way over there on the right on my dashboard. I'm like, I haven't touched this game in a while. Battlefront's going to add to that. Call of Duty's going to add to that. Exactly. And it's Wait, like, you have your folders? I got it. Man, you gotta organize them in your folders. That yeah, that, man. That, yeah, that, that yeah, whole... yeah, don't be a scrub, man. Organize your shit. <laughs> Matt's gonna have his old folder. It's gonna be like it's, it's gonna don't be, play no, it. No, no, it's gonna be it's gonna be called it's gonna be called alone. <laughs> buggy. <laughs> but, yeah, I know, right? But, call it at at another time. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, even with. Even with all the bugs in the game, the game for me, on um, I, I don't think the game played bad. I think it, I think it was a very high quality game. But at the end of the day, 
I set my standards low for Madden one and two. It's just that uh, it's another EA Sports football title. It's like I I got I got twenty EA Sports football titles. I got like ten two K Sports football titles. I just I don't. Somebody needs to do something with this game. They need to either revamp it or somebody else needs to make a game just to add life in football gaming in general because it it makes no sense that like I said well I well I said this a while back the number one sport in the country that may be overtaken now for other reasons we may talk about later but Mm -hmm. the number one sport in the country is being dropped within month a month and a half of its release and this is not just Madden 18. In the middle of its season. Yeah, exactly. Right. And, and, and it's not, it, this is not just Madden 18. This has been going on for at least five, I can go back to almost seven ten years. years. Yeah, like I'll call it seven, ten years. Yeah, seven to ten years where people are just like, well, September comes, something else is out, or September comes, I'm done with the game, and nobody wants to play it anymore. Now, back then, I will say, it was mostly because of the quality of the game. Now the quality is better, but more people have more excuses to say, like, look, there's just other stuff I want to play. Even, even mm-hmm. though it is still a buggy mess at times. So I, the, the final thoughts of that is, where do we go from here with football gaming? I mean, is this just going to be the trend for Madden 19, Madden 2020, Madden 2021? I mean, what, what what's going to happen? I mean, you said it yourself. You said it yourself on Twitter, man. It's a, it's a machine, yo. It's a it's a runaway train. Nobody's gonna stop this runaway train. Yeah. And until they however it happens are pushed to innovate and improve their game substantially in one year, I don't see I don't see it changing. What about you, DJ? I say right now we have two alternatives on the market. Um, obviously they're not NFL games, but one's fully customizable and the other one's a Canadian football game, uh, access football and Canadian football league, or you have those games out on the market, even though that the quality is not where you, that most people want for a 20, a game in 2017. Those are your alternatives right now. But then there's a third that's working its way. And I'm not talking about Kyle Anderson's game. I'm talking about the IMV guys, um, with their game, their game trying to hop into the college football. Okay. And they made, let me see, they recently just announced that they now have a publisher. Okay. So that's a big thing. I'm like, in the past, we've had people perpetrate like they was going to make a college game and then fraud, fraud like, like fool everyone. But it, yeah, there seems like this one's going to go. I've I'm, I'm really been watching it all this time. It, this one looks like it's gonna, it's gonna sell. I, I think with IMV Gaming, I just been watching from a distance because I just I haven't seen anything from them, and I'm pretty sure Bills could say the same thing. We we just yeah. haven't seen anything from them. But if they have a publisher, that's great. But let me tell you somebody who could really use some serious backing, and if they get some serious back, and I'm talking about like serious backing, the game could be phenomenal. If Axis get some serious backing. They can have they can give Madden problems because that guy who runs that that game actually listens and he puts stuff in game ASAP. It, 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 I mean, it, it's just unbelievable. I mean, you don't have to wait for a patch. You don't have to wait for nothing. He's like on it right away. And that's one thing I've always given credit and respect for Axis. When you have an issue with the game, if you want to see something added into the game, I have yet to see him say no, and they tried their best to make it the best as possible. So, I mean, as far as the game go, like you said, the quality, I, I can't fuck with it right now because, to me, it's just going to be something I'll play maybe two or three minutes. It's like, oh, I see the progression. Now I'm going to go do something else. But if they had, like, a serious back and, like, a big publisher or, or they just come off and get, like, 10 or $20 million, which, you know, that... I mean, that just don't fall out the sky. But if they had that kind of money, they, they can be a serious problem, you know, not just for Madden, but just for people who want an alternative. They can really do some things. So I, I think at the end of the day, it's simple. We should just support and back these independent developers and making football mm-hmm. games and have them, to, you know, to make something, you know, of what their ideals are. And uh, two... 
I really think Madden needs to really go to the drawing board and do something with their game. And, and I mean, it's not the fact that the game is bad. It's just that the proof is in the pudding. People are like legitimately not playing this game, even though it, it, it does play fairly well. It, it, it it's a problem because I mean it's not a problem to them because oh they got your money it's 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 over and done with it they made a profit but for the gamer it's like yo we don't have a football game to play now because there's other stuff I'd rather do in this game that this football game is not up to the quality of the other games that I want to play so it's it I think that's where the problem just needs to be resolved I think that's where it is so um no um. Next topic I want to jump into. Everybody knows about what's been going on with the the protests. Colin Kaepernick's been taking a great stand on the injustice of, you know, police brutality, racism, and the injustice of people people of color in general. Um, but it's for the most part it's been hijacked, in my opinion, because of the you know the comments of what the uh, Trump said and uh what number forty five. Yeah, yeah, you know. And and what the owners and some players and hypocrites have done and on top of that people who are misconstruing the entire um protest. Like I said, it that's the reason why it's been hijacked. So I I don't have much to say on it. I like I said on Twitter, I, I, I kept it really you know, really short and sweet. I just hope it gets fixed. I don't have a solution. I don't know everything, but I know there's something wrong going on with this whole situation, and it needs to get fixed ASAP. Um, Bills, I know you're very outspoken about it, so I'm going to let you go um, second. I'm going to let DJ speak on it because I know he had a good bit to say about it as well. So, DJ, what are your thoughts about this entire weekend on that aspect of sports? Well, let me start out with a fact. There's nothing wrong with kneeling, sitting, or standing during the national anthem. And that's a constant. That, that is not even in the Constitution. You're exactly right. Right. So people need to kill that noise right, right away. I know people are stuck in their own personal viewpoints as to how you should, you know, respect the flag. But there's not one way. There's not just one way to respect the flag. I'm like, matter of fact, by kneeling. And or sitting, the fact that you know you're you're in a country that allows you to have this freedom of choice, that's paying respect and even protesting. That's what uh, the flag. That's what the flag stands for. It, right. it, it stands for you, so you can have the right and the ability to have freedom of speech and say what you want to say in, in, in any fashion. So have you. Only not as long as it doesn't directly, you know, directly offends people because they have the First Amendment right too. But the problem with that, yes, you may offend people, but that's that's how protests work. And on top of that, if you're offended by it, you have to understand one, why are you honestly offended, and two, what's the real cause behind this protest? And that's where everything just ran off the rails because people just took their own idea with this whole protest. Yeah, that's that's what I feel that a lot of people they don't even bother to ask. And you know, in asking questions, people I find that a lot of people do not ask questions when stuff happens. They don't ask enough questions. No, but, I mean you you're living in a society now where they just see the headline and just jump off the bridge. So, but number 2 um looking at who who, who is now protesting, and you're looking at, you know, I'll call out three names, Jerry Jones, Daniel Snyder, and Ray Lewis. i call out uh, Daniel Snyder and Jerry Jones because they donated money, a million of their own money, to, to Donald Trump's campaign. So for them to be out there is a total farce. And then Ray Lewis... I, I think we'll, we can hold that off until like after the main part. But Ray Lewis, yeah, he had no business being out there after like he has said. So, I, I, before bills go, I'm gonna say this: like just like we talked about the First Amendment, people have the right to do whatever they want to say what they want. If they want to donate their money to this man, that's fine. 
to me, I just think it's hypocritical because now you wait until he calls out your the way you do your job, the way you he calls out the way you do business. Now you want to protest against him. Why? Where are these people when the real issue that was brought up was forefront? That that's my issue. Cause I I I, I would never step on anybody's toes for saying what they say or, or how they say it. I just I just pray and I just hope that you're intellectually honest and be and have a good point behind what you say. Cause I, that's one that I I cannot. I have very little tolerance for stupidity. I I just can't deal with it. But I I, I get it. I mean, we know the old good old boys club. We know how it goes. You 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 feel a certain way about somebody of said beliefs, and you want to you know you want to contribute to that, yada yada yada. But you have to take the whole thing in stride. You have to understand what you're getting into before you do these type of things. And I think that's where the uh, owners and even Ray Lewis got caught with their you know. Not figuratively, but they got caught with their pants down, just being straight hypocrites. Um, Bills, I'm pretty sure you want to speak on this, and I know you really want to talk about Ray Lewis, so I'm going to let you go, and then we'll just we'll just wrap it up from there. Cool. So, um, I'm I'm going to keep the cursing to a to a minimum. Yeah, please do. Please. I'm, I'm going to keep the curse. Oh, DJ, don't even start with that. <laughs> okay. Ooh, so. See? I, I don't like the curse. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> what, 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 are, what, what, are, what are the what, what are curse words? Yeah, <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. What the fuck is that? <laughs> so I'll start by I'll start with a fact, just as DJ did. Um, we had a kid shoot up a black church in the south and took pictures of burning. The American flag, the very American flag that people hold so dear to their chest. And he was donated millions of dollars. Okay? So don't tell me about the flag. I don't want to hear about it. Okay? Mm -hmm. I don't respect that flag. I don't respect what it stands for. I'm just going to get that out of the way right now. Anybody who disagrees with me, I don't care to talk to you. That's just how it's going to be. Um, And as an African American, I hold every right to feel that way, and I have every reason to feel that way. Right. So moving on to Ray Lewis, I'm just gonna get this coon out of the way. Ooh. Um, I'm sorry. This dude, this was the same dude that made it seem like Colin Kaepernick was in his own way as far as getting a job. This is the same dude who was called a thug a killer, a criminal. After being, after after not serving any jail time for these supposed crimes, did he forget where he came from? Did he forget what skin color he is? Do I have to go back to the Jay Z song, the the story of OJ Simpson? Oh God. Okay. Um. Ray Lewis, in the words of Jay Z, still nigga. Okay. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Same goes for Michael Vick. I said that in a podcast when we talked about Michael Vick. It does not matter how much you coon do the song and dance. It doesn't matter. You still are what you are to them. Uh. Okay? And then, so we move on to the owners. Um, I found this pretty funny. Uh, The same people who are protesting because Donald Trump spoke up about how he felt pertaining to people protesting the anthem, the same people who haven't signed Colin Kaepernick still haven't signed him. Still haven't signed him. Feel the need to go out and and, and half step and that's what half stepping is when you're interlocking arms. I'm sorry, let's be honest. That interlocking arms if you got if you're gonna protest and protest. I'm sorry. Let, let, let's let's take a knee if we're gonna really protest. The interlocking of arms is it, come come on. Let, let's be honest. You can't have your foot in the doorway and other foot in the house. Like no, either come all the way out or go all the way in. So yeah, the owners need to need to have a seat. I, I don't like the players have been doing this without them. Richard Sherman has been fighting a good fight. Michael Bennett, Martellus Bennett have been fighting a good fight without these owners. 
don't wait for the president of the United States to call you out and tell you who you should fire and who you shouldn't fire for you to stand with the very players that he's criticized and ostracized, quite frankly. All right. He, 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 uh, muddled the line between, between condemning and pretty much, you know, giving excuses for white supremacists. He muddled the line. He was unsure, but he's pretty sure about people protesting the anthem though. Interesting. Interesting. So, so, you know, tiki lights and tiki, you know, torches and calling people the N-word openly, shooting at black people um, during their rally. Yeah, that, that, you know, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Don't, but if you forget, take a knee... Don't forget uh, killing a protester in right. the process. Killing a, a protester. Counter -protester. Yeah. Yep. Killing a counter-protester in the process. I don't know how I feel about that. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, he took a knee? Oh, no, no, no. Condemn him. Like, this country is showing so much about what is, you know, what it doesn't know. And that's the thing in this country. I, I think, I, I'm glad you said that. I'm going to let you finish, but I think that's the main issue right there. I'm not going to yeah. say, I'm not going to say necessarily people are just blatantly racist. I'm not going to no. say, I'm not going to say people are just, you know, blatantly hate black people, or bl uh, black people hate white people. I think there's a level of ignorance in this country that is just being put on display. I totally agree yeah. with you right there. There's not enough people who admit they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Right. Okay. And, 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 and if you and and, people, yeah. No, and if you don't, you should just shut the hell up. That's why I made exactly. my one. That's why I made my one tweet. I think I'm an intelligent person, but I made my one tweet and I shut up because I don't. I don't know 100 percent what the protest is really is mm -hmm. about on both sides. I mean, I, I can claim like I don't know, but I'm just watching right. TV like everybody else. I don't know what's honestly going through Collins' head. I don't know what's going through uh, 45's head. I don't know what's going through 300 people, 300 million people in this country's head. So I just yep. said, fix this shit. Everybody's smart, for the most part. They know what to do. Yep. Get this shit right. But like you said, there's a lot of people just don't know what's going on. And they yeah, just. People are voluntarily. That's my term for My term is voluntarily ignorant. You don't know what you're talking about. You have no knowledge of it, but you continue to talk. Because in this country, you're allowed to talk about stuff you don't know about. It's the invisible wall. You have the invisible wall of social media, okay? The invisible wall of social media protects you from three things. Criticism face-to-face. -face, owning up to your words face-to-face. -face, and showing who you really are. Now, showing who you really are, can people can interpret who you really are based on your words, but then you can just backtrack because it's the internet, right? Like, I can call Dwight Howard a piece of crap. Well, no, I'm trying not to cuss her. On the internet, right? Well, and Dwight well, Howard, he, well he is when it comes to basketball. Well, <laughs> well that's what <laughs> you there. But I can call him that on the internet, and guess what? If Dwight Howard comes and beats the snot out of me, he he's going to be looked at as the villain here, okay? People will say, why didn't he use restraint? Uh, they won't talk about the fact that I was, you know, patronizing him. So that's the problem with this country. People are allowed to talk about things that they don't know. And until people admit that they don't know what the hell they're talking about, this problem will continue to to go on, and it will continue to exist until people admit they don't know what they're talking about. Let's listen to these people and understand why they have a problem with the national anthem, with the flag. But they don't want to do that. But see, that's the thing. It's not even a problem with the national anthem or the flag. You know, I mean, nah. and, 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 and I know, and, I, and like I said, I know you don't. I know you know that's not the. I know you know that's the case. It's not the right. problem. But so many people have said that. It made you just say it. You, you, you see well, yeah, how exactly. you see you see, yeah, yeah. you see how things are being misconstrued. It's not even about the flag. It's not about the national anthem. It's just bringing yeah, attention to what's going on in these streets. Right. So it's like so it's like okay. Until people, until people will sit down and try to understand from my perspective. Okay, we're dealing with three panelists here that are that are black, 
until somebody who doesn't understand sits down and listens to us and understand why we feel how we feel if we feel that way because some don't look at Ray Lewis until he was pressured into it Mm. um understand how we feel and why we feel that way then they will continue to say that what we're doing is trivial that what we're doing is inappropriate and they will continue to view it as disrespect to people who have nothing to do with it which is the military I, I, I think I think that like I said at the end of the day people just don't know and, and no. it's not the fact they don't know because they they don't know they don't know because they never took the time to find out and they what don't they want need to, to. Yeah, they, they haven't took the time to find out what they need to know yeah. and that's the sad part about it because this country can really learn from just communicating with one another Bro, do you know how many people don't know that there was a verse taken out of the national anthem? Yep, the third verse. Exactly, a lot of people don't know. People don't even know the words of the national anthem until they start singing them. They might recite them every day and not understand what they mean. Yep. And and then you have the people who say, well, well that was thousands of years ago, and it was hundreds of years ago, and why do you still care about that? See, we, 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 we get the get over it rhetoric a lot. It's not even a fact that it's not a the fact that we care about it. We it's just another thing we need to bring to the forefront that exactly. this is what the country was built on. In some cases, some people never left that that era. Exactly. That, so that when you it. say what the flag stands for, at this point, it's what they want it to stand for. Right. What does it actually stand for, and what did it stand for back then? Because what I see is an anthem that was written by a slave owner. And you can't deny that because it's facts. Right. That's why people don't like it. They can't deny it because it's facts. They have to. They have to, you know, deflect like people in the sim community do. Deflect. They like deflecting. They change the subject. Yeah. Well, what about black on black crime? That's a deflection. Well, what about people who drop out of school and choose not to go to school? You can't say they don't have the same opportunity. Deflection. Well. What about black people using the M word? Why can't we use it? Deflection. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's another example of people don't understand what the hell they're talking about with that. That that's a whole other topic for a whole other day. And I'll just close by saying this: America, America is called the land of opportunity, but it's only the land of opportunity to people who are given these opportunities through, you know, their own merit for a lot of colors, a lot of skin colors. And until people realize that, I mean, for us, it's the land of opportunity to get arrested or profiled. That's what our opportunity is every day. We have a good opportunity to have that happen every day. Right. When is it going to be the real land of opportunity for everybody? Who knows? Yeah. Might be soon, might be never. I, I, All right, I, oh, ahead, I actually have one thing, one other thing to add, and that's going back to the originator for uh, Colin Kaepernick. Now, folks forget he was originally sitting until he talked to a uh, Marine. I think it was a U.S. Marine it was vet. A, it was a Marine or Navy vet. It was one of the two. But either way, after they talked, he began to kneel. And the reason why was because in the military – to honor fallen soldiers, you take a knee in front of the, their gravestone or their cross to honor fallen brothers and sisters. So, in fact, if you look at the rest of that season where Colin Kaepernick was kneeling, and then now everyone else is taking a knee, there's honor in taking a knee. And for, for Agent 45 to sit there and this nigga said, hey, this nigga said, hey, nigga said Agent 45, like, this is James Bond. He is. He's a freaking <laughs> puppet. I'm like, somebody's controlling him, pulling his strings. But anyway, um, but to take a knee, even for the flag, is actually paying homage to not just, you know, soldiers who are alive, but also soldiers who are dead. So... That's also taken in consideration, was taken in consideration um, from Colin Kaepernick from his 
original stance of sitting to kneeling. So I think we all need to not forget about that aspect because that's also been lost. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I think at the end of the day, our, this whole fiasco is, is turned away from the actual sport. But, I mean, it was some great football, but we'll get into that. But I, I, think, oh, yeah. I, think, at the, I think at the end of the day, people just really need to understand what's really going on and, instead of just throwing their opinions in at first because we can really learn from each other and understand what's being protested and the realities of this country because you don't hear about it as much lately and I can attest that it's probably still happening and it goes unreported where you know minorities are still getting shot by cops unarmed minorities getting being shot by cops and it's going unreported and nobody wants to talk about that and I think that's the that's the biggest issue because if this country is really based on and built on equality that really has to change and instead of just bickering about who's taking a knee who's sitting down or who's rolling over who's doing jumping jacks while the anthem is going on we really need to be coming together and fix the problem and what you know the president has done really didn't help matters and on top of that you have people like the owners of the NFL and Ray Lewis get really adding more fuel to the fire all the while like I said these things probably just like this past weekend you probably had some instances of stuff like this happen just went unreported and nobody wants to talk about that aspect of the situation I mean, just wait till the NBA season starts. Those dudes are a lot more outspoken, and you have a commissioner who's a lot more outspoken um, about these things, and he's not afraid of what he will lose if he speaks out about it. And you already seen LeBron James and Steph Curry leading the way, and I respect but those. You, yeah, but you have to understand the NBA is is configured so much differently, and and two. Oh, I agree. You know, yeah, and I mean, and two. Yeah, the players and, have more control. Yeah, and and two, yeah. And, and I mean, it's By much more of a, and much more of a benefit to us in, in as a society for them to speak out. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's going to really be seen on a bigger scale because of you have those uh, voices actually well and I think Steph Curry is going to be a big part of this because LeBron's already been speaking out and now is speaking out even more but if you get players of Steph Curry's stature you got Kevin Durant speaking out about this it's going to things are going to change I think that's what what, that's what it takes I I don't I don't want to poo-poo this, and I don't want you to take this the wrong way. Mm-hmm. The fact that Stephen Curry is actually speaking out on it, I think it's going to carry more weight than LeBron. No, not, I agree. Not yeah, not because of his stature or his uh his plight on the NBA. It's just that LeBron. To I'll say to the average person, LeBron mm-hmm. carries a different type of likability mm-hmm. than Steph Curry. People love Steph Curry just because he's a small player. He shoots threes. He run around and look crazy. LeBron, man, why don't you just say it? Because he's light skin. Oh, well, no, man. no, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> that, that that's not true. Now. I'm not. I'm not gonna say that. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that. Now, I'm not gonna say that. I, I'm not gonna say that. I'm just gonna leave it where I say he's small. He's he he runs around. He shoots threes. A lot of kids look like they think they can look like him, so they could be yeah, like him. Yeah, because he likes. But, but you know what though? But you know what? DJ that. may be onto something. He, I mean, he's, because... exactly, he's exactly right. But I'm not gonna say it. Because <laughs> with Steph Curry, I'm not gonna say it. I'll keep saying it. He's like, Steph Curry <laughs> took his mouthpiece out of his mouth and flung it. Nobody was talking about him being a violent savage. If Draymond Green did that, they'd be wanting to arrest him. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They'll call him all kind of type of gorillas and all this other shit. <laughs> right. But, you know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not... I was sitting there like... I'm not trying to get... I'm not... Oh, his mouthpiece? I'm not, trying to make, I'm not trying to make it a racial issue. I'm no... Let's get it. Or pick... Or pick... Or pick... Or no. Or pick... <laughs> Pigmentation situation. I, I don't want to do that, but I, I but like I, I think it will because you know more people look at him as a little bit more likable than LeBron, and it, it sucks because what's and not what is there not to like about LeBron? I mean, LeBron is a, is a nice guy from what I've well, seen. He's just it's it's on the court that carries over to off the court in his situation. Yeah, no, no, um, I don't see that. True. So I mean, that really isn't going to change until people who aren't really basketball fans start to notice that he's speaking out. 
Steph Curry, he hasn't made as far as um, him pushing this agenda because he already has people on his side that, you know, are Steph Curry fans or even if they're not Steph Curry fans, they don't have a bad word to say about him. Um, So I can agree. I can definitely agree with that. Well, that and on top of that, on top of that, he was able to, to persuade the owner of Under Armour to eventually leave that business council that he was a part of uh, under Donald Trump. So if, right. you, if you can sway somebody, a business owner, to do that, and of course money had to do with that because, uh, of course, Steph was like, you know what, maybe under, maybe Nike may be the better uh, oh, call. Yeah, yeah, and you know good and well, they'll, they'll snatch them right. real quick. Mm-hmm. But yep. I, I, I think at the end of the day, it's, it's just that it's – it's, I, I will say to a degree, my, I, I could say probably 90% of it, it's a mistake that the country made by putting this guy in office. Oh, uh, I, mean, I, I mean, it's just, it's, it's not the, the fact that, I mean, he is what he is. It's just that you, you just, I said this from day one, you can't put a non-politician in, in this type of power. You know, and me and DJ discussed this, like, at length before, like, I think it was like a week before the election, and I said, I have never seen a president go into the office with less skill to delegate right. than this man. And delegation is 90% of politics. Exactly. That's that, why his businesses went down the way they did. Absolutely. That's exactly. But no one wants to look at that. Like, how you run the country off of Twitter. What legislation has he got passed that has what well, like what legislation has he gotten passed that will help his country? I have no I, I haven't been following it. I couldn't tell you. I doubt if there's any. None. It, you know, but I haven't been following. I can care less, honestly. I just like I say at the end of the day, I just hope they get this stuff together because it's it's becoming a real problem. Yo, really his is. own party his own party is fighting against him. Oh mind you, he's 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 not a Republican. He's not. He, he's, he's not, not, but I'm saying as far as how he ran his own party right now is fighting against him. I mean, right, like I said, rightfully so, because right. he had no business. I don't know how he did it, but he has no reason. He should not have been a nominee, but like I said, that he shouldn't have won the presidency either, but like I said, it, 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 it all bought, and I'm going to go back to sports, but I'm going to tell you, this is just mm-hmm. my quick two cents. Yeah. The, the Republicans, they fucked up by just not showing that they had better candidates because if, if I was to look at anybody on the Republican side I, I like Ted Cruz I had no problem with Ted Cruz I don't agree with everything but as far as the Republican go I had no problem with him the Democrats really fucked up they tried to give Hillary the pathway directly into the pre- presidency you notice nobody else on the Democratic side ran but dumbass Bernie Sanders and and they thought I gotta be a dumbass because I'm gonna tell you this this how this is how Washington thinks they thought that this guy that was basically uh, a communist could run up against Hillary socialist well same, socialist pr- close enough close enough no, could run up close run up run against Hillary and Hillary Hillary could just walk into the White House that was their bad because they had plenty other candidates that could have added on to the Democratic race to make it mu- a much more uh, easier choice for the country to pick, say, okay, maybe I don't like Hillary, maybe I don't like Bernie, but, you know, uh, uh, this person, whoever they put in, could have been a better choice. You had 17 people on the re- Republican side trying to run for president. You only had two on the Democratic side. And nobody sees a problem with that. I mean... I see an issue with people who claim they're going to vote third party clearly not voting third party. I voted third party. Yeah. Well, I know you did. That bullshit. I know you did, but what I'm saying <laughs> see, is it, it, based it, it, on it, how it, people spoke prior to the election as if it was picking between two balls of shit, you would have thought a third party but the candidate would have won. But this is the thing. It shouldn't have been that way. There were at least three people on the Republican side that was way more worthy than Donald Trump. And there could have been five and there could have been five other people on the Democratic side who would have been way more comparable than, than the two that they put out there. So it's like the, the whole system broke down for this guy to be end up being president. So that that's just my two cents. It's just a bunch of bullshit and now you have to deal with it and, and it leaked over into sports. So um despite everything that had happened, you know, with this weekend, we did have some really good football. Real yes, good football overall. 
Um, we're going to talk about some scores. We're going to talk about some winners and losers. Um, I'm just going to throw out some scores real quick that actually stood out to me. Um, L.A. and San Francisco. That was a very surprising game. I didn't think it was going to be a shootout. Turned out to be a very good game. 41-39. to You had... Um, Philadelphia beating um, the Giants with a 61-yard field goal, 27-24. Um, what else you had? New Orleans actually beating up on the Panthers, 34-13. What happened in Baltimore? They got they ass spanked in London by Jacksonville, 44-7. to I was enjoying that one. Yeah, what else stood out? I think pretty much everything else was par for the course. Um, Minnesota, actually, they beat up on Tampa Bay, and Chicago beat Pittsburgh. So, um... This time it was, gonna, it was opposite day. Yeah, pretty much. To, you know. <laughs> so um I'm gonna let Bills go first. Who are your winners and losers for this week? Uh I don't know how you can't pick Chicago. Um Winner, loser, somewhat winner. Win- no, no, winner for winner. Oh yeah. absolutely. I, I no, have no, yeah. I have high respect for that team. Bills, you there? Yes, yeah, no? yeah. Okay. Um no. Nah, yeah. Um so yeah, Chicago Chicago's my first one only because, like, Pittsburgh's one of them teams that usually play well on the road. And with Mike Glennon, I think, started. I think yeah. it was Mike Glennon. Yeah, he's still starting. Um, they're playing some really good football. And if at any point they have to go to Mitch Trubisky, they can. So um, they're definitely a winner. They're continuing to overachieve. I, I can agree with the overachieving part, absolutely. And I think um... – Mike Glennon is trying to make a case to get a job somewhere else or continue to stay in Chicago. Um, Absolutely. So, any anybody else that you consider a winner or you want to jump on to the losers? Uh, I thought we were going to go back and forth. Um, oh, I mean, if you want to do a winner, um, DJ, you can do one. Go ahead. Oh, a winner? Um, well, obviously, I'm going to pick the Washington Redskins. Big winners over the Raiders, 27-10. <laughs> that, that was a damn good and win, And that too. was an ass-whooping. Yeah, it was a that damn good win. That was straight hard-hitting. I, I'm like, to hold the number two, ra- I guess, number two rated offense to only 120-something or 140-something yards where one person, uh, Chris Thompson, had more total yards than the whole Raiders team, was crazy, and then they hit on Marshawn Lynch. Oh, let me tell you, that something. dude got he got held. He, what six carries, eighteen yards? Yeah, I, you know what? Total I, shut down. A lot of people were saying that they don't have enough practices in the NFL, so people don't know how to tackle. I, I, I have no evidence of that so far this year. None. People are tackling correctly, and they're doing a good, a damn good job of tackling. Oh, and yeah, speaking of which. Speaking of which, there was another hit in that game on Crabtree by rookie Monte Nicholson. That right. was straight. That see a play like that is normally called on uh, unnecessary roughness. But if you saw how Nicholson hit him, he led with his shoulder, had his head up, and just ran right through him. Did Ruff everything no right. Choice, but to no, leave it I'm sorry. Can we? Can we? Can we? Uh... Can we go to college football for a second? I'm glad you brought that up. No, we 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 can we can jump on that in the south. Oh, you I, I, no, 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 no. I was just gonna I was just gonna make a comparison compared to hitting compared with the the hitting in college football that they deem so dangerous and every two seconds they want to eject somebody. Me and VF were talking about this the other day. I'm tired of that. Oh, this targeting stuff is ridiculous. I agree. I'm tired. Ta- he is the target. He he has a damn football. What do you mean targeting? Like. Like this is stupid. It and makes the, no sense. But the thing about it is, it looks like they're doing the same thing that the guys are doing in the NFL doing, but they're calling it every other damn play, and it's getting it's getting ridiculous. And the fact that they're tossing kids out the game, that's yeah. That's, I think that I, I think that's excessive. I think that's something they need to pull back on and give it like a 15 yard penalty, one warning, and if they do it twice, then you'll. Just, I, I get it if you give them a warning and they do it twice. I, I can get that, but they're just like no tolerance for it. It's like, it's getting ridiculous. It, 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 it kills the fun out of some games. It really do. Um, let me think. As far as a winner, I, I honestly have to say Jacksonville easily. I mm-hmm. mean, Jack Jacksonville, I mean, we all talked about Baltimore not giving up points. 
And I don't know if it was the jet lag flying to uh, the London or whatever the case they may both be. Both flew to London. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what it is, but Baltimore oh. just got spanked. It wasn't even. Funny. I got one. <laughs> I got. A, I got a loser that won. The goddamn New York Jets. Can y'all not even tank correctly? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what did I tell you before the season started? VF, I was like, they're gonna win too many games to get the the first pick. They're not even good at tanking. No, they got they got fans out there already putting Sam Donaldson jerseys out there in the stands. Man, they they want that quarterback already. He he he's if he doesn't get drafted first, they might have a chance because he sure as hell they sure as hell ain't getting the first pick. Not the way they're playing. They're, they're, they're playing. Just well enough to get like the fourth pick, <laughs> and they go they're gonna be trying to, to trade up and shit. Exactly, and people are gonna be like, "No, you're the Jets. You have nothing to offer." Yeah, so, but, but yeah, I think Jacksonville is a winner definitely. Um, I don't know what's up with them either, yo. Jacksonville is a mixed bag of goods. I mean, they're, they're yeah. a team that you can't really read, so. You don't know if they're going to put up numbers or they starting they, with the quarterback. Yeah, I mean not only I mean not only that. I mean they they lost to I don't know who they lost to, but they beat two teams that got damn good defenses. They beat the Houston Texans and they just beat Baltimore. So I mean I don't even know what to make of this team. Um, losers, I know you just said the Jets. Uh, DJ, what what what's a, who's a loser for you? <sighs> loser, loser, loser. Uh, let me look. I'm sitting there looking at the scores right now because obviously I can't keep it all in my head. Um, I would say Miami definitely for losing was, to the Jets. <laughs> yeah, definitely for losing to the Jets. Uh, Carolina <laughs> looks like they're in free fall status. Oh, they're they're a big time loser. Like, Man, all, and all you got to do is throw the ball on them. Their secondary is terrible. That is we, just, we foreshadowed this uh, in, the, uh, in the preseason. Nobody else was talking we about. We saw it. that in the preseason. That secondary is horrible. Like, the fact that he went – it's like they went from losing the Super Bowl to him reacting the way he did to just free fall status. Wow. It was like he went from a league MVP to no no one really well, talks be, about him well, he, he need to stop wearing them tight-ass, goofy-ass clothes. He might play better. <laughs> <laughs> God. I mean, I'm, I'm being right. honest. He, he wearing those retarded. I don't know – I don't know what kind of money you got to make you dress like that, but you need to stop. I'm sorry. If I made money, I'm wearing regular clothes. I'm not wearing no top hat with no small ass shorts and pink socks and dress <laughs> shoes. Like, who the fuck wears that? Oh, what I, are I, those? Got, um, I, I got another loser. Yeah, um, exactly. What are those? Yeah, exactly. I got another loser. Indi- an individual, uh, Derek Carr. Oh yeah, yes. definitely lose that game. Uh, he, he looked, it, looked like, it looked like fright night out there. Yeah, it, looked, it, it, it looked like Houston Texans two thousand two with David. Exactly. <laughs> they <laughs> mentioned exactly. they actually mentioned David in the game. It was like we haven't seen him perform. I think they talked about we haven't seen him perform like this since like David Carr. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, I, mean you know, I was <laughs> like I didn't yeah. watch the game, but I was you know I was keeping up. I'm looking. And every two seconds, I check the score, and I'm looking at his yards, and they're just not going up. And I'm like, no, like it's not like third all. quarter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no. like, and the only gonna... reason they got their touchdown was because uh, Crowder muffed the punt, and they recovered, and then they scored from that short uh, field. So, yeah, yeah. you know, take that away. Who says we don't walk away with a shutout? I mean, yeah, I mean, true. it's like it's a situation where, and I'll ask you, DJ, do you think this is a situation of Washington being that good and finally playing up to potential, or was that just them stepping their game up based on who they were playing against? I think it was a a case of stepping up. Uh, I really say that Kirk Cousins stepped up because the first two games he was a lot better. He was not earning that 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 franchise tender or potential long term deal. But it seems like in the last few primetime games, yeah, Kurt has been lighting it up. Yeah, he's, so he, played just, very, he played very well the other night. He played very well. 20, 20, either 25 or 30 or 26 or 30. Either way, I'm like, Carr on, on the opposite end was, what, 19 for 31? Well, I'm about to let he's you know. Throwing, I'm going to let you know right now. He's a lot now. better I'm going to let, let you know right now. Kurt Cousins was 25 for 30, 365, three touchdowns, no picks. Jesus. Pretty yeah, much. That's pretty. That's that's damn good. That's good stuff right there. And then the yeah, other other a lot better downfield now. Seems the like other, confidence. The other stat line 
but all, all also belongs to Chris Thompson. You're talking about a hundred my guy eight yards. And he's been on he's he's been on a scoring streak uh for the last three weeks. He's yeah, scored Thompson, two, yeah, yeah. two touchdowns in each game. Yeah, Chris Thompson has six for six catches for one fifty one touchdown. He also has he rushed eight times for thirty eight yards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's that's not bad at all, man. Good that's good stuff right there. That's real good oh, stuff. I have another loser, um Brandon Marshall again. I think he's going to be on this list every week, pretty much. Man, you can you can give you can get, get uh, you, you can get a whole the whole uh, group of Giants that I mean that the Giants fucking suck, yo. Hell, back him with that celebration. I give him the loser uh, tag on that one too. Oh wow, D Wade just signed. Well, this was like a few yeah, minutes this happened ago. about thirty minutes ago. Yeah, he signed a one year deal. For I, I was gonna, I was gonna bring that up after we finished. Wait, I mean, he signed. He, uh, signed, he signed with Cleveland? Cavs. Yeah, he signed, yeah, he signed with, with Cavs. Cleveland. Man, I saw that coming for years. Yeah, I kind of no, no, saw yeah, it. Yeah, but it's just, that's, I'm that's just it. now realizing that officially in their starting lineup, there is no deficiency now. You know, you if know they had him in the restart. finals last year, it would have been interesting. You know I had to restart my my league because of these latest changes. I, 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 I wasn't they need to put out a damn roster update. Yeah, well, they, they did. Yeah, well, they will. They, 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 they put, put out one? Yeah, Melo was on uh, the Thunder in the game. I just checked today. All right, that's good. I mean, 2K's pretty – they're pretty good about that. They, they've always been pretty good about updates and rosters. Yeah, but now I got to hold off on my my league until they get uh, weight on there. I can put them on there if I want to, but I, I, let, I let them do it. Right. They, they do uh, it. Because the, cause the contract, you know, they, they get all that stuff right. And, right. Yeah, they got, and they got, they got can't, configured. You can't even adjust the contract. No, once you put yeah, them on there, oh, no, on yeah, there. Wait a minute, hold up. Yes, you, you can. You can and edit player. You can. Yeah, yeah, I just realized that, yes. Yes, you can. Okay. You can do anything in 2K. Remember that, okay? <laughs> you can do anything at 2 Remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I mean, as, far, as, far, as far as customization, you can do anything. Shoot, even development. No, 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 no. Wait, don't even say that. Don't, don't, even say, don't even say that. If you're going to direct that at EA, just say, you can do things. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can do something. <laughs> you can do something. <laughs> you can do anything. <laughs> you can like do anything. You, you can do something. Right. You can do one thing. <laughs> Oh well, my God! Man. Well, anyway, like, f- for me, I'm gonna jump and give you my losers. Um, yeah. Definitely is Tampa Bay and Pittsburgh. Um, Pittsburgh should beat Chicago. They were the better team, but Chicago has a great running game. I do admit to that. And Tampa Bay got too much talent to be losing to Minnesota. They let Sam Bradford just just p- put it on them, and then that's oh, he's back. Yeah, Sam Bradford's been playing the whole time. No, I thought no, he no, injured Casey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's Case Keenum, it's Case Keenum, it's Case Keenum, it's Case Keenum. Case Keenum. Yeah, I'm my so bad, my bad, it was Case Keenum, Case Keenum. Yeah, I'm about to say, I'm like, just because they're white, and, don't uh, mean they uh, look alike. You know my what, God. you know what, you know what? <laughs> anyway, Case Keenum put up 25 for 33, 369, three touchdowns, no picks. Mauler. Yeah, yeah, Case Keenum, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm actually surprised at that Tampa Bay. And by the way, uh, Sam Bradford's Native American, so <laughs> yeah, that. he always looked like it. I didn't think he was like he he is Native American. He already talked about that years ago. All right, I got one honorable mention for loser is my Atlanta Falcons. Definitely, they damn near should have lost that game yesterday. If y'all haven't saw seen, the, I heard yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen, seen the final play. Yeah, that was, seen that final play. Yeah. It should have never got down to that because Desmond Trufant had a holding call and a pass interference call to get them down to the two yard line. So, they, honorable mentions: a loser and a win, definitely. Matt Ryan. Kenny was pretty upset about that. Yeah, so. Matt. Yeah, he'd be all right. Matt. Uh, Matt Ryan <laughs> threw uh, three picks. He went twenty five for twenty four thirty five, two ninety four, two touchdowns, three interceptions. Yeah, two of them wasn't his fault, but still, you gotta own it. Well, oh, trust so, me, my fantasy team knows he threw three picks. Yeah, yeah, yeah he has on it. <laughs> um, and the, one other thing, they're not getting the ball of Julio Jones enough. He had seven catches for 91 yards, no touchdowns. To me, that sounds like good numbers for, for that caliber receiver. That's unacceptable. So I do give them the L Especially in a win. Them. Yeah, to them, I give them an L in a win. And it, it, it just doesn't make sense. This game should have been over a long time ago, but the defense and Matt Ryan put him back in the game. So that's my honorable mention for a loss. <laughs> mm, um, I almost choked there for a second. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Especially talking about Atlanta. Oh, yeah. another win, another win. Um, the Cowboys, big road win. Oh, uh, Dak Prescott. Yeah. 
I will well, say, yeah, we I, already know how you feel. I, I will say, I will really say, I will say well. he he did play very well. I will give him credit. He played a lot better than I thought he would. And a lot of people thought, that, oh, he's a game manager, but he did he did pull out something. I, I give him props. I give him yeah, props. Yeah, he made a couple throws on a run that were pretty damn impressive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was only thirteen. Right, this is game manager numbers: thirteen to eighteen, one eighty-three, two touchdowns. But I mean, he did make the big plays when it counted. Does that count? Yep. I'm not necessarily the one to judge, but I mean, um, hey, Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson's putting up them numbers. Was putting up them numbers back when that defense was carrying him. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. He's a. I, I'll give him a winner for this week. Yeah, he put up 300 something plus yards. He did. Pretty Anybody good. that puts up 300 something plus yards with that garbage offensive line, that offensive line might be the, one of the worst I've seen in my life. You know, who's the, but you know who's the biggest loser? I don't care out of all the stuff that has happened. The biggest loser of this week, once again. Is that is that's Bryant? Two catches with twelve yards, one touchdown. I'm sorry, that don't get it done. I'm sorry. And those twelve yards, most of them were on that one catch. Yeah, there was no, he was, no, he was carried for like eight of those twelve yards by the offensive line pushing him into the mm-hmm. end zone. So and so, quite frankly, he got like one, he got two catches for four yards. That Patrick I, Peterson shut I, him down. I, I think I think what we said last week I, um, on the podcast. I think it was last week. I think Des Bryant, elite receiver, no more. I don't, I don't think he is. I yeah. Too. I don't think I don't think there's any way you can. You can't justify. You, you can't justify two for twelve. I'm I'm sorry. Oh. And, Honestly, and like according said, to it, according to his own comments, he's fine with that. But this is the thing. I know secretly his ego can't take it, but he Antonio he, Brown he, he is. But he's okay with that. The thing is, though, like. He's this is the thing about Des Bryant. Des Bryant has matured as far as his mindset, but he doesn't show up to play against big time corners, which is why I can't call him elite because it's I like can, I can make a case that he don't show up at all. Yeah. No, I mean I mean I mean I, I get yeah. what you're saying, but I can make a case that he he don't show up at all. He's just been terrible. To be honest. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, it's like I've seen a lot of big games where he just disappears, and he's gonna be playing in a lot of big games this year. So, if he's supposed to be the number one receiver, all right, they may be in trouble. All right, these these are these are the last four games he was in: Indiana mm-hmm. against the Colts, two for fifty five, two for fifty five against the Giants, two for forty three. Uh, it, against Denver, he did have seven catches, but there was only for fifty nine yards. And yeah, in Arizona, that. yeah, in, in, in Arizona's two for twelve. And like I said, I think eight. <laughs> of, I think eight of those yards when he was being carried to be pushed into the end zone, it wasn't his effort. So, I, I don't think it's a situation where he's just he's playing. Um, he's stymied by elite corners. I, I just think he's just been ass. <laughs> yeah, you know, but or uh, or. Um, are they not targeting him enough? Because see, I haven't been watching, so I can't call. Him. I, they're, I, I, they're, they're targeting somebody else. They, they 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 made that clear in that Monday night game. Yeah, but is it Bryce Butler who's open yeah, because he's yeah. not, or is it just yeah, they've moved on to spread the ball around? It must be because Bryce Butler has been actually balling for that. Team. Yeah, that's the actually that's the guy they've been targeting is Butler. Well, they've been targeting I, I, him I a lot more. I yeah, that it could. You might be on to something about them not targeting him. That that might be right. So, um, let's jump on to week four. Um, I guess we could talk about some games that may interest y'all. Um, do y'all have y'all uh, schedules up, or do you have them? I can um, bring it up. Yeah, Cause Cause I, me. I'm bringing it up uh, right now. Because I I'm, I'm gonna pick a few games um, that it may I think that's gonna win or, winner and who's gonna lose and one game that may interest me. Um, but first for me I think one game that is a bona fide W I think Jackson. <clears throat> well I'm not even gonna say that I think New England's gonna beat Carolina in New England. I'm not even worried about that. Um, I think that let's see what else we got here. Yo, we're gonna yo, I think we need to talk about the fact that that's the first enticing Thursday night game that I've seen in a long time with the Bears and the Packers. And I won't be surprised that Chicago beat Green Bay. I wouldn't at all. I would that not seems be like one of those games because where Aaron Rodgers he, offensive line breaks down. He's gonna have to because uh, not only that, Chicago could keep him off the field with the running game. 
Absolutely. So I, yeah, not, Howard I, is I, a monster I, back there. That's saying Jordan and that dude, um, Tariq Cohen, they got a two-headed monster back there. Trust me, I seen it week one when they played Atlanta. They got some damn good running backs back there, and, and Pittsburgh knows this for sure because of what happened to them this past week. Mm-hmm. If they run the ball, they they make it go into Green Bay and win that game. So I'll say that one may be a win for them. That one that one interests me. But the New England game easily. Um, the Philadelphia game, I think that they're going to beat the Chargers. I, I, I'm starting to fall out of love with the Chargers. Um, the Minnesota. Oh, wait. Game. I can't believe I forgot this. Oh, go ahead. Um, something has to be said for that Tom Brady throw that was like a 40 yard out <laughs> for the game. I, I, what you want to say about I it? Did, I mean, I that, didn't that, see that. Like, I, I saw like, it, but it, it, never... it's, it's, it's Tom Brady esque. It's nothing, not, nothing wild me. I, I mean, yeah, but I to see a forty yard out thrown in that situation is just insane to me. I put it like, like that. Go because back, it's go back to go back to when Tom Brady played the Saints in uh, New England and he oh no, that and throw he, it reminded me of the throw yeah, exactly. That, that was saying. It, to me, I mean, yeah, it's it's great, but it's like it's Tom Brady at the same but time. It's just, but that's the thing. It's like that's what makes him so great. That's what made Michael Jordan so great. It's like. You think there's no way he can come through in this moment every time. And every time, sure enough, they come through. It's like, it, it's crazy, yo. It's like so, so many times people, people like cast it away as, oh, you know, it's it's like, it's, it's what he does. But it's like, to see it happen every time, know it's going to happen, and then it actually does happen, is just crazy. I, I can agree with that. Um... What do you? I'm a DJ. I'm gonna let you go with some of the games you may think about, but I'm gonna ask you this: What do you think about the Cincinnati Cleveland game? Do Cincinnati. Do you think Do you think the Browns finally get a W? Hell yes! I don't think anybody gets a W in this game. The fans <laughs> don't get a W. The network doesn't get a W. I, 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 here in 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 Maryland, we're definitely not gonna see the game. So that's a that's the only W that's gonna be given out to me because I don't have to watch this game. <laughs> You got, oh, okay. you, got, you got the Bengals who just continue to struggle, and the Browns just forever in the doghouse. No yeah. pun intended. I like but, the, um, I like Deshaun Kaiser a lot, though. I really do. I like that kid. Yeah, Kaiser is a good guy. It, like, and he he's shown some, especially they are the Browns already played the Patriots, right? No, not a hey, why 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 they, they, they played the Steelers and almost beat them. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. It was against the Steelers. And they, he, he had a good game against the Steelers, I thought. Who's at, who's at home for that game? Cleveland. Oh, it's Cleveland. Give me Andy Dalton four picks in that game. Wow. Hey, man, Andy Dalton actually played pretty good this past week. You will get off that man, man. That man actually Look, played good this past week. You, let me tell you something. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Andy Dalton, man, Andy stop Dalton it, plays, man. Andy Dalton man alone. plays a good game every ten weeks. Yeah, <laughs> and people man go, alone, man. see, we told you he has the Andy potential. Andy Dalton is the real red herring. That is true, <laughs> that. <laughs> it's awful. Man, he was 21-27, 212, and two touchdowns, man. It wasn't his fault that they lost. Who they play? They played Green Bay. It wasn't his fault that they lost in overtime. So you're telling me he only went 21 for 27 against that secondary? Hey, man, get off of him. Come on. <laughs> hey, I ain't just, just going to let you sit here and play devil's advocate. Man, I, ain't playing, I, ain't playing devil, I ain't playing devil's advocate, man, but I'm just saying, that man had a good game. Give him a little bit of respect today, man. I, I know he's ass, but give him some respect this week. <laughs> that man, let that man do what he do. But anyway, DJ, what, what, yeah, other game, what other games you got out here that, that, that interest you? Oh, believe it or not, um, this Rams Cowboys game. Ooh, that's gonna be something. You got Gurley versus uh, Elliot. Ooh, that oh, you know what? That man. might be. That's that might be the best. Be that a, might be the best game. Because even though, yeah, even though, even though he ran through the Rams, but I think the Rams are gonna run through the Cowboys. And I think Elliot probably not going to have the game that everyone thinks he's going to have. He yeah. had a bounce back game. Yeah, the, the Rams yeah. got a good front seven, too. You might be right, because that last time they came up, they last time they ran into a good front seven, you saw what happened when it was in Denver. Yeah, but you know, um, with their front seven with the Rams, if they, they really got handled by the Redskins front seven, so yeah. and Cowboys line supposedly is better. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, but was we'll Donald see. playing at that time? Yeah, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aaron Donald's been playing all year, I think. He's the unquestioned starter this year. 
Yeah, he's been he's been playing all year. I, I think he he came out of this holdout right after week four of the preseason. Okay. But uh, that might be a very interesting game. And you know what? I'm liking Jared Goff week by week. He looks pretty – he looks he looks a lot better than he did last year. I mean, Jared – I uh, tried to tell people this dude Jeff Fisher should have been arrested for attempted murder with that <laughs> offensive line he put him out there with last year. Yeah, Jeff Fisher was terrible, yo. He was terrible. Terrible. I mean, he, he, Let's see. He's, what? Not, he's not coaching anymore, is he? Uh, nope, thank God. They okay. showed the video when he found out he got fired. I was laughing my <laughs> ass off watching that video. I don't care if that man lost a job. He should have lost a job years ago. I'm just waiting for Marvin Lewis to have that video. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, leave Cincinnati alone right now. They, they lost in respectable fashion. Yo, yo, I'll tell you what. I'll leave Cincinnati alone. I ain't leaving Marvin Lewis alone. <laughs> hey, we know that man ain't won a playoff game in 45 years, but hey. Yo, yo Marvin Lewis is the only... Marvin Lewis is the only black coach I won't be outraged if he gets fired. <laughs> All right, Stephen A. Bills, we hear you. Go, 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 go ahead. A linebacker that takes cheap shots every single game. Yep. And for some reason, that linebacker hasn't been suspended. Like, what's up with that? <laughs> like I said, like I said, Marvin Lewis is the only black coach I, I won't be outraged if he gets fired. I'll probably lie. Hey, remember that time when they, they thought he was about to get fired and he tried to run off and resign last year? When those rumors start circling around, he getting fired. He's like, no, nah, I'm about to resign. I'm out of here. And then they found out they're going to keep him. He's like, oh, I was just playing. Nah, you don't have to yeah. be. <laughs> See y'all next year. Yeah, so, damn, we didn't mean to cut you off, DJ. Who else you got, man? <laughs> Ah, that's uh, that's all right. That's all right. Um, let's see. Well, of course, I'm looking at Redskins Chiefs. That game is in Kansas City. It's going to be a tough game. I don't expect the Redskins to come out alive in that one because Kansas City is tough to play in. One of the loudest stadiums in the mm-hmm. league, uh, I think, second to Seattle. Yeah, that's yep. that's that's going to be a good game though. But I, I can agree with that. Washington may not come out of that one. I can count on some protesters being outside this game because this is Native American on Native American crime oh, on God. Monday night. So, take a knee. Take a knee. Take a knee. Just take a little knee. tidbit. A take couple of months ago, I had the Redskins and the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Take. And, of course, I beat the Chiefs. So yeah, That would be the lowest That'll be the lowest viewed Super Bowl ever, yo. No, it won't. Yo, no, people, won't. Be fight, no, yo, people, won't. people will be I'm fighting. Not. People no, you would know be what? You fighting know what? themselves, but you trying not to watch that game, and they probably end up not watching it. But you know, be, just because of that, I got to watch. No, no, I, I, watch I, I, no, animals I'm, battle I'm, each I'm other serious. every I, single weekend. I, I, I might of have to side with DJ though. I might. You gotta think about it. Kansas City got a pretty good fan base, and you know Washington does. That might not be a bad suit. I ain't gonna say it, and you, it might not. No, be no, a, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm not talking about the quality. I'm talking about these clowns that are protesting protests. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, it's, okay. It's, oh, it's you because of that. I'm like, oh, the, the protesters be outside the stadium. Oh, and it, the yeah, okay. it I think I think that would be an intriguing Super Bowl based on the tradition of the two teams. I I, I definitely can agree with that. Um, yeah, I, don't but, feel like, I don't feel like people will watch. I'm just being honest. I really don't feel like people will watch. I will watch this would be a good game, but as far as as far as people that you know don't like oppressed people to talk, they would hate the game. Mm. You got one. Why don't just shut up and leave? You got another you know one, what? DJ? Just for just for social advocates, I hope that Super Bowl happens between the Redskins and Chiefs because. Man, you hear it all. Yeah, you, 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 you hear it all on ESPN. Man, a racist team. <laughs> I think the league's trying to set up an Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady Super Bowl for the Swan Song. I wouldn't be surprised because we haven't seen that yet. So. Okay, uh, last game I'm gonna pick: uh, Steelers Ravens. Always, always a good one. Always got to watch them too. That's always like, a good one. You got one team getting blown out in London, which again, I don't care who doesn't like this. I enjoyed every second of it, ass whooping. Every <laughs> second of it, <laughs> Baltimore. But anyway, I like Baltimore. Everything else about Baltimore, I like the Orioles, but the Ravens, they they can kiss my ass. But um, Jeez. Steelers, uh. I'm not a fan of their fan base at all. They talk about Super Bowls too much. Talk about old, antiquated, uh, out of sight Super Bowls too much. Are you, are, 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 you talk, are you talking about when the Lombardi Trophy was bronze? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, talk, talk, back before the Super Bowl, we just talks about it, like this. 
like they're the best Super Bowl team, uh, winning team ever. And I'm just like, you know, Green Bay has 13 titles combined with Super Bowls. They yeah. think that Super Bowl era is the only era that needs to be concerned with. Yeah, okay, but like, can we okay. be honest for a second, though? Can we really hand any of those teams that played in the non free agency era that that title? Like, I would uh, give wait, wait, hold on, hold on, that, hold on, that hold on, award hold on. before. Before I give the Steelers that award, but the, but you said non free agency. Remember there was like Plan A, Plan B when the Redskins won a, a couple of their Super Bowls. So yeah. I I give credit the the league existed for has existed for a long time, and I give credit like, even this even the Eagles have two titles in the NFL championship era. So and even Cleveland has a couple, but. I acknowledge all the NFL records. So Green Bay is the – that's why they call it the Lombardi Trophy. They don't call it the Chuck Noll Trophy. They don't even give it to the – they don't even give Noll the AFC Trophy. That's Lamar Hunt. Right. So what's well, that I mean, about the Steelers' history altogether? I'm well, like, yeah, I mean, we're not going to sit and act like the Chiefs have a better history than the Steelers. So. But they were in the first Super Bowl. I mean, okay. <laughs> Along I mean, with the I mean, I mean, I mean, George Mikan was the first NBA superstar. But I'm saying. <laughs> yo, then, yo, George Mikan wore some little ass shorts, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Those shorts. Yeah, was... That's a strange exception with little ass shorts. Yeah, I, I, I got a, I got a oh, deflex. I got mean, a deflex. I got a on his end. <laughs> deflex from little ass shorts. Well, anyway, um, Bill's. Um, what about you? What you got for your uh, the games that interest you this week? So, I mean, all the ones that DJ named were definitely good ones. Uh, this Titans-Texas game is going to be a really good game. Uh, Mary, Mar- Mariota, ver- yeah, Mariota versus, uh, what's his name? Damn, Watson. Uh, Watson. Uh, Watson, yeah. You got two mobile quarterbacks who could throw on the run. It's going to be interesting. Broncos and uh, Raiders. What is this like? Divisional week or something? Yeah, I think it is because um, San Francisco, Arizona's playing. Detroit, Minnesota's playing. Green Bay, yeah, Raiders, Green Bay and, and Bears. Yeah, yeah. So Broncos and the Raiders. Um, it's going to be interesting. The Broncos are probably on a high right now based on how they played last week, um, this past week. So nah, that's going to be. Yeah, I mean they lost too, but I think Denver's going to smack Oakland around. I, I mean, I. I I don't see Oakland recovering from this loss this past uh this this past week. Do you think that's going to deflate this? Definitely season? wasn't dancing after I, I don't, that. I don't, game. I don't I don't think it's going to deflate this season. I just think they're just going to get smacked around another week. Hmm. I, I I think them and they're playing in Maha Stadium, so I I, I don't I don't. I see. think Trevor Simon comes back down to earth. Man, I, wait a minute, hold it's, on. It's I not, don't know. It's not even that. It's just it's just the Denver's defense. I mean, they you thought that the. You know, Washington defense hit hard. I mean, these guys in Denver ain't no pushovers. So no. if, if they play with the same um, textbook, you know, if they come out with the same textbook, it's going to be the same thing. That That's what I'm getting at. Trevor Simeon could probably <clears throat> throw three picks, and they probably end up winning by like three. Just just, just how the bad Oakland's been playing. You know, I don't I, I don't know. Since the game's been played in Mile High, Marshawn, you know, could. could yeah, that's true. Have that game. Yeah, he can, but then again, you had Ezekiel Elliott only run for eight yards against that same front seven. Yeah, but that's Ezekiel Elliott. Man, come on, man. <laughs> we know you hate the Everyone, Cowboys, everyone knows the Ewok cannot <laughs> run in the NFL. Who else? We, who, we, who, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? We're not this man just going to this man just run gonna in the NFL. Like, you already know this. I forgot. This man going to talk like Ezekiel Elliott is just some scrubber. Yeah, song. man. What else you got? Bro? You hate Ewok. Come on. Everyone hates Ewok. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> the Giants in Tampa Bay is going to be pretty interesting. Every week I act like the Giants are going to put up points, and I remember their offensive line is garbage. It, so it, I probably shouldn't even pick that, that team. But that's, quarterback that, is but garbage, that, that, too. That's basically based on what if. What if the Giants show up? Because if they don't, right. they're going to be on four. So, yeah, yeah. So I can see how that. And they're going to be zero and four in a blowout too. <laughs> yeah, Tampa yeah. Bay. I think Tampa Bay going to run away with that. But I think I'm going to fall back and go back to what DJ said earlier. I think the most interesting game. I did say the Chicago Green Bay game because it's in Green Bay. But I think the Dallas LA game is the most. Yeah, interesting that's going to be the most watched. I think that's going to be the most interesting one because. You have a team that's up and coming, and then you have the Dallas Cowboys. 
I think I wouldn't be surprised if either team wins, but I think it's just going to be entertaining all together. It's going to have everybody's favorite announced team, Joe Buck and Troy Aikman. Man, long as they don't have Phil Sims, I'm good. Oh my God! I <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Door. Well, I just open that door for you, boy. Right? <laughs> speak, speak, speaking of announced teams, which game is going to have uh, Tony Romo? Oh, that's, the, yeah, that's the hot announcer right now, the hot color guy. Yeah, I don't Tony know. Romo. Let me see if I can Does find he, out. He's basically spilling the tea every play. I know, right? Nah, he, Tony yeah. Romo. Tony Romo's gonna be one of the greats so. yeah, uh, too. Uh, Brent Musker, uh, Mus- uh, Brent Musburger <laughs> takes a shot at Tony Romo's broadcasting skills. Musburger, you're what? old. Shut up. Brent it, it, Musburger it, 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 got the Brent Musburger, the same man who's been announcing since it was in black and white. Hold on, sit there hold on. And talk about- hold on. What? He does what? He does college football on CBS? Yeah, he, yeah, he does college football. He's boring. He's talking about stop the hype. He's like, no, like, he's falling asleep. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, 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 he'll be all right. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see what next game he's going to be on. He'll probably get the Tennessee game again. I'm looking it up now. I need to I need to have him commentate at least one Redskins game. I would like to know his thoughts because I know his thoughts are going to come out every time he played against the Skins. Because I I, w- I would like to know what what was he thinking in the, all those games because he did a lot of good stuff in those games and man, we also punished him too. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, a, a, a lot about Tony Romo in general. I don't <laughs> never think he was a bad quarterback. He just made the worst plays at the wrong time. Oh, but God. it just shows you that his IQ is like very is very high as far as quarterbacking. Very mm-hmm. high. It, it's almost scary high, and it makes me think about other quarterbacks that I think are the greats. I'm not saying that their ability is in question, but their IQ. I wonder if their IQ is just. Do y'all as high think Peyton his. Manning would be a good play by play commentator though? He's a good comedian. Because, I mean, see, as good as see, Tony what, Romo see, was, as far as knowledge, pay him in if I blow him away. See, this is as what far I, as knowledge. But see, this is what I'm saying. It's like, I have to see it to believe it. Because I'm not saying that he yeah. can't. I can't say that he can't, but right. just watch Tony Romo do this on display in the way that he's doing it. I mean, he's like basically calling plays like this. On and those are teams he plays all the time, it, either. Exactly. So it's like, man, I'm like, I, if you want to ask me, being a betting person, I think I honestly think that uh, Peyton could do it, but I got to mm-hmm. see it to believe it because what I'm seeing for Tony Romo as of right now, I don't think any other quarterback can do it right now. I just have to see it. Well, we've seen smart quarterbacks turn themselves into idiots as Phil Simms does. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> man, I might, hey, man, I might have to say, hey, bro, I might have to send you a PSN card for that one. That's oh, some good shit God. right there, boy. You preached hey, man, the he gospel. took a PSN card for post signing? Man, he has that how man, we And he preached the gospel right there, boy. <laughs> that's what yes, Lord. That's what people who are listening to this, don't don't be like Bills. Don't don't co sign just to get what a free. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, man, he didn't do it for the PSN card. Right. Offered, you act man. like we just. He did it for the gram. We know. <laughs> oh, man, he, God, man, yo, he spoke nothing. Hey, like, we probably bullying people into giving me free copies of Live over Twitter. Oh, yeah. That would be a. That actually, we can go ahead and tell that story. And Bill, since you volunteered, go ahead, tell the story. All right, so basically, basically DJ um, is going to take Shopmaster's spot also as a game changer because Shopmaster clearly well, just... Hold up. Oh, man, hey, yo, yo, hey, yo, yo, hey, put, hey, put, hey, put, hey, put him in the game. I love that. <laughs> yo, I can't stop laughing because he said put him in the game. Like, who cares he, about he, that? He would love anyway, that. No, I'm oh, come on. Nah, 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 nah. Let no, I like rest. put him in the game. I discuss him. Yeah, I like him too. So I had no problem with like him. But first, he was like my first subscriber. Yeah, man. I mean, I had no problem with him either. But when it comes to them game changers, boy, he, <laughs> he, he goes in. He don't yeah, play. Yeah, we, we, we all all for those again listening. We all have stories about what happens. What happened back in the day? Oh yeah, the original sim community. Oh yeah, it was a war. Oh yeah, like, it was. Wars were fought back then. <laughs> so everybody, so everybody complaining about uh, "quote unquote" clicks. Yeah, Man, hold on, go um, back, go it's, back. It's, how, it's no, toned on. down. Uh, it's stop. toned down. How, how did you get this copy of me live again? Oh yeah, so he basically, <laughs> so so basically, what happened was um, he he bullied Shopmaster into giving him one. He was like, 
well, you know, you're going to give me a copy of NBA Live. And, you know, he put his Debo voice on. And, uh, <laughs> the rest is he put, he put man, a that sounded so awful. Yeah, he put a Debo voice on over Twitter. Man, you, man, you big time. He put a Debo voice on over oh, Twitter. He, basically, he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> he wasn't paying attention for like most of the the giveaway. He was posting, but he wasn't like paying attention like every two seconds. And then um, they ended up picking him, and he won the giveaway when Shot Master was doing a giveaway. So, <laughs> so how that copy of live working for you, DJ? Uh, I haven't played it in a while, but um. Okay. Uh, <laughs> wait, but, to, but to play the full game, um, I'm not able to enjoy the uh the the career the my player aspect of it because the damn app doesn't work on my phone, so I can't scan my face. Uh-huh. Like each time I tried to scan my face, I don't know if anybody's brought this up, and I don't know if it's specific with Android phones, but ever since the demo dropped. I've been trying to get my face scan and it hasn't done it. So uh, we half the game is already users out here. That's why you need to switch to the iPhone. But not only yeah, that, I, they, I mean, you could be on Android and you got NBA Live lovers saying it's your phone. Right, exactly. Yeah, everyone knows the iPhone reintroduced old tech and charged a thousand bucks. And if you went and bought it, you're a straight sucker. Get out here buying an iPhone six with wireless charger and want to talk about somebody's money making decisions. Man, you still can't you still can't use regular headphones with them damn phones, man. Yo, they're the only company they're the only company to put out a phone without no one they didn't have a headphone jack. Wouldn't put out the adapter. You had to buy it separately. It's like they almost forgot, like, oh yeah, we don't have a headphone jack. It's like, come on, bro. The money grab. But but anyway, but just more of the story of that live giveaway was that persistence pays off. Yeah. Persistence pays off because I was hey, I, I agree. giveaway and lost. Yeah, because I was very, that, per, I was very persistent so, about. Yeah, I agree. I was very persistent about uh, Phil Sims getting off the air. And plus, <laughs> after th- and plus, after three years of paying for live, I was not paying for another live. I was determined. I hear that for that to happen because I, I'm, I'm like everyone. Not everyone knew, but like. I streamed 14, 15, and 16 just to say, hey, I know who I'm talking about when I rag on live because I've been playing it like crazy. And I you know what. To talk about it. You played it extensively, unlike these other clowns who haven't played it and want to talk about it. Hey, I got oh, wow. a website I go to named Exophase. It tells you all of my gaming history right on there. Oh, and, um, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, it gives you all my game history, and I played. It tells it. you how long you played it too, like yep. everything. Yep, and Damn, I played, oh, wow. and, and I played NBA Live fourteen and fifteen very extensively, and um, I haven't played sixteen much because sixteen is ass, but I did <laughs> play fifteen a lot, so I know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Some people thought that was the best live in a long time until eighteen came out. I was like, all right, uh, I put it like 15. this. I put it like this on NBA Live fifteen on Xbox One. I put in one hundred. In two hours on that game, so hmm. you can't tell me I haven't played NBA Live 15. I played it more than some of these fanboys have easily. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, 16. I don't know how much I played a 16, but 15. My fanboys are playing 2K right now. Uh, Pretty much, no, that, they uh, probably did the same thing I did and probably got one there uh, 2K in a in a free giveaway. Yo, shout out to Izzy though. Why? Izzy's not being one of them. Oh, you know, um. I'm not playing 2K because I'm a live boy. And... No, no, no. Yeah. He's... He was on that tip for a little bit, but... He... Well, you know, he came around. Yeah. Yeah, he came around. It's my, it's my guy, yeah. Enjoy these games, folks. Just enjoy these Don't games. Don't enjoy these companies. That was, enjoy that these games. That was the motto of a now extinct group, NWO. Just just have fun with these games, yeah, nah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Don't people, take yourself too seriously. Don't 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 yeah, let it get to you. People are still mad at us for joining, making that group, yo. Speaking of which, not a lot of people know this part of the creation of an NWO. Uh, should I reveal who else was the founding member? <laughs> he. <laughs> 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 yes, folks. You heard it here, right here. I was one of also one of the founding members of NWO. No one knew yes. about it because I work behind the scenes. That's just me. Hey, man, you, you did that. <laughs> hey, I'm not mad at that. You did that. Yeah, because we all decided, like, look, Madden 16 is okay. 
We're going to mm-hmm. play it, and it is what it is. We're not about to sit here and make all these videos, sitting here um, complaining about all this stuff Yo, every single time. How do people time? have a problem with us not making videos? Like, seriously. Like, we have to put up with repetitive videos from other folks, but, you know, reasons. Right. Hey, somebody can make 432 videos. Of the same thing? Of the same goddamn thing and talk about community leaders not doing their jobs. Fuck that. I'm, okay. I'm playing these games over here. That's all I can do, man. That's all I can do. Uh, speaking of, before we close this out, man, let's uh, uh, ask a quick question. Uh, nah. Yeah. Two things. Good. Two things. One, what games are you playing? DJ, what games are you on right now? Well... Definitely on that 2K. They're definitely uh, playing my league. Uh, NHL 18 I'm playing. And believe it or not, this will shock everybody. Candy you Crush. Know, man. What? Uh, what did you say? I thought you were going to say Candy Crush. <sighs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm still playing No Man's Sky. Really? Yes. Okay. The game is vastly improved. It's what it should have been at launch last year. What it is now is way different. It's it's a totally different game. It has there's a logical story to it. Uh, they've given you more options. Um, since I had since I now had the PS4 Pro and a 4K TV now, okay. um, I can definitely tell the difference in graphics. Man, that game, man, that Samsung TV is amazing, man. I just got, I got, yeah, I got, I got mine right after you got yours, man, because my other one died on me. Because since you said you had that, you got that deal. I went to the website and got that deal too. Yeah, big difference. Better than better than my old 4K TV. Way better. Mm -hmm. So I agree. And and it's funny, I didn't have to consult Hard Eight to figure that out. (laughs) So, and that's not a shot at Hard Eight. That's more of a shot at consumers. That don't think for themselves, because Hardy even advocates that you gotta think for yourself when you when you when you're a consumer. Well, can, so. can, can, I, can I be applied? Well, to how, well can, if can, that's can, the case, <laughs> hold on. Me and, me and Bill, me and <laughs> wait a minute. I already now, know. I already know. Me and Bill's jumped on that quick. Go ahead. <laughs> right. Me and DJ gonna talk about. Uh, we we talked about this last week. What's good with Hardy telling all these clowns that it's okay to delete 2K um, just to be an idiot? Like like oh it's just don't want to put it like this. The thing the thing about that with Hard Eight and it's not a fault of his own because he plays so many games. The only he thing he, the only thing he had to do is go into options and change the shot to real player percentage. Problem That's solved. <laughs> Pro, I'm, I'm dead serious. That's all he had to do. Problem because at first I couldn't find it because it's not in the end game. It's not with, like if you're in the middle of a game and you go to options, it's not yep. there. The only thing there is the free throw percentage one. If you go out of the game, if you go out of the game and go to regular <laughs> options from the menu, the real player percentage is right there. You change that from um, to shot um, user timing to real player percentage, you have no issue. So I, 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 I think he just didn't go into options. That, that's his issue. Man, this dude, this dude had oh, people deleting 2K in droves, yo. <laughs> I'm like, man, if y'all don't stop it. Well, you also got to remember, it is the same guy that, uh, that quote unquote cancel Elite 11. Pretty much. So when, so, yeah, so when he do say something about a basketball game, people do listen. Yeah, he, he, he carries a lot of weight, so. Yeah, so. What about I'm not you? mad when people follow what he says, but I just, you can't I, follow everything he says. Yeah, my thing is, is just, he plays so many games, I'm, I'm pretty sure he did not know. <laughs> just go into options and change it to real player percentage, and it, it, it will drastically improve the way you make you make your shots. Um, Bills, what, what are you playing? So I'm playing uh, same two as DJ, NHL 18. I'm playing a heavy. I need, um, to, get, I need to get that. It's it's really good. It's actually an improvement. It may I've take heard. you a while to see the improvements. I've, but, I've heard. I played yeah. on EA Access. I know. Yeah. I, I just need to buy it. I'm not buying it on Xbox. So yeah, um, 2K18 obviously. Um, I'm also playing FIFA 18. I got that today. The game's pretty good. Um, and actually, believe it or not, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Man, I'm sleeping on that. I'm I'm a big fighting fan. Of y'all, you know, I got like four or five fighting sticks here. And mm-hmm. I, I just haven't been able to go up to buy that game yet. I, I'm going to get it, but I just been, I just been waiting because it just, 
it's not the traditional Marvel's Capcom from what I see, but from what nah. I heard, from what I heard, people saying like it is exactly what you expect. But it don't have the X Men characters either, so I'm like, uh. no, nah, it doesn't. But that gameplay is legit. I just gotta wait for them to. You just gotta wait for them to get more characters. That's I got what a lot of that's, that's what a lot of people are saying. They're saying that the gameplay is exactly what you're looking for. So oh, I, yeah. I guess I can deal without the characters because I got every other versus series <clears throat> here. So if I want to play with X Men character, I just play the other game. So. I'm okay you know, oh, question. I got a question for y'all. Okay. Um, I think I already got DJ's answer a while back. Um, VF, are you getting Call of Duty? I think the silence is enough to know. I was going to say, that was a long... That yeah, was, and a silence I mean, on top of that. I mean, I don't shy away from the campaigns because I always enjoy the campaigns, but it's just something about this one look like it's going to be trash. Like, super trash. Like, I didn't play any of the Advanced Warfare or the or the other one. It, I, I, there might be another one I pass on. I don't think I'm getting it. I think it's going to be... I mean, this is the thing. I got to go by Jive Turkey because he's basically who I go to as far as shooters and talking about shooters. I, right, have to right. catch up, I have to catch up on his videos and see what he's saying about it because a couple of the videos he made for the beta didn't seem like they were going too well Um, as far as he didn't like the maps. Um... Now, the complaint he had was that there are too many passageways to come in. For me, I like that because it means it minimizes camping. But I can kind of understand what he was, he was talking about as far as the map design. I mean, as, I'm, as I'm of, getting uh, As of right now, I can't say yes. I, I That's when I definitely have to look at it and see because I, I Call of Duty, just like I say with people with NBA Live, Call of Duty, people are starting to lose confidence in that series because you're not delivering what you're trying to do and live 18 has made strides they're trying and call of duty is trying too because they're going back to the basics so we'll we'll see um but yeah i'm not sure about that one now what i'm playing um, i'm playing nba 2k18 um i've been trying to find a good college basketball game and i know everybody be like saying oh nba you know i mean not nba but ncaa basketball 10 is a good one college hoops 2k8 is a good one the problem with those two games for me, and this is just a small pet peeve, they don't have good post game. And oh well, I'll put it. I'll put it like this: NCAA basketball ten does not have a good post game, and in college hoops two K eight doesn't have a good dribbling game. You can't dribble the ball very well. Yeah, so, I don't like. I still don't like those that button selection. Yeah, that button selection. Too. So I've been looking for a good college basketball game. I went back. I've been playing. about uh, college hoops two K seven. No. That same thing, same with the buttons. I mean, you can change it. I but thought, it, well, I no, thought you can, you, you could, can, you can yeah. change it. It's just not, it doesn't free flow as well. It, oh, it, yeah. So it's just like you press the left and it does something. You press the right. It's not like a crossover where you can go back and forth with the analog stick. Right. Um, I went back and I started playing March Madness 2008. That game, so far, <clears throat> I'm, I, I've only dabbled with it way back in the day and I, I bought it a while back, but it's just been sitting on the shelf. But Who's it, it, on the cover of that one? Kevin Durant. Um, that, one, that. that one is actually giving me everything that I want in a college basketball game, so I have been dibbling and dabbling with that. Um, I've been playing very little of Madden, for, I mean, Madden 14. I'm playing very <laughs> little of Madden 18, but for me, it's mostly been 2K. It's been a little bit of the college basketball game. Um, I've also played a little bit of Madden 07 on my original Xbox. Oh, I'm sorry, NCAA 07 on my original Xbox, and I've actually been playing, uh, I know Bill's going to love this, I've been actually playing some more Giga Wing. I've been on that. (laughs) I've been on that. I've been playing on my Dreamcast. I've been playing Giga Wing a lot. I've been playing that a good bit. I've been playing that when you called me, I mean, when you texted me earlier uh, on Twitter. So, um, as far as sports titles, I really want to get into NHL. That's... That's the game I really want to get into. I, I think I'm gonna get that in, in a week or so. Um, I'm trying to think anything else. Like, but with Madden, I I cut it on. I run a little few practice plays and I cut it off. I just can't play it. That just goes back to what we said talking about in the beginning. Mm-hmm. There's just nothing for me there. Like I've been playing NCAA on my old Xbox and I've been getting a really good football fix there. And that, to me, that it's kind of an indictment on the new game for me. And it's also kind of sad at the same time. So, but um, man, that WWE 2K18, man, that's another one I want to jump into. I want to try to get that. But like I said, I just been trying to find a good college game in general. 
to play. I just been I, I just wanting some college football or a college sports title to play. So that's what I've been doing for the past few you know, for for a week or so. But the main game, the current game, it's been two K all day. Easily. So um I guess that's that for that goes. I mean we're at the hour and forty five minute mark. I mean time went by fast. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, anything else y'all want to add to the podcast before we go? I do have one more thing real quick, but um, I'm going to let y'all go if y'all got anything on y'all mind. Um, I do. I, I, there was something I wanted to add to, some, to something Bill said earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh, when he mentioned uh, in regards to the protests and whatnot and talking about like being having stuff uh, deflected back on us, like you know, black on black crime, just to let everybody know when you say that, no shit. We've been dealing with this for forever on our own, and that the fact that you guys are just hearing about it and using it against us doesn't do us any good. And two, it's called a crime of proximity. Of course, when you have black people living along among black people, who's the first you're going to go after? Black people. I, I it's think, the same in white communities as well. I think so. I- Oh, go ahead, go ahead, DJ. I'm sorry. No, no, not no. no, that's a, no I, I, but, but see, the thing is, I think it's, a, is I think it's just a bad. I think it's a bad deflection because there's no doubt. There's no doubt. I think not only the crime needs to change in our neighborhoods. I honestly, in every hood or every ghetto you go to, you see these uh, Arabs and these Indians taking our money out of the communities and sending it off to their people, and it doesn't help our community. I do get that, but that's a side issue to what's going on right now. Mm-hmm. Is- see, this is the thing. This is the thing, though. And these clowns always like to use these percentages. The percentage is always going to be higher for black people killing black people because there's less of us. There's more it's, white it's, people it's, killing more white people as far as the numbers are concerned. Percentage-wise, of course, it's going to be a higher percentage of white people. That's natural, but if you're going to give that bullshit fact, know that we're going to respond with actual facts. Uh-huh. And that's how we respond, by telling you that it's bullshit that you use a percentage rather than the total number. It's not even a percentage of the total number. It we all know it's a problem in general, regardless of the exactly. number. I mean, it doesn't lie, but at the same time, the same people and it, and it, and this is something nobody really you really came with this angle. The same people who are supposed to protect us from each other, the police, are the ones that are, are sure. shooting us down. To protect and serve, that yeah. is the motto of That's all what I'm saying. police. They're, I mean, they're that supposed to, they're no so, exception. They're the ones that are supposed to protect us from each other, killing each other, per se, but they're the ones that's also shooting us down. Yep. They're the ones that one that's killing unarmed black men as well, so wh- wh- what, they're a part of the problem as far as black And this police dying. brutality is not just black people. This has moved... You I don't know, know if you guys saw the video of... Um, that white dude at the corner store that was getting shot the other day, mm-hmm. and the the cop the cop was doing a horrible job of restraining him in the first place. Um, he claimed the dude was reaching for a gun, which is the famous last words. And then the dude got up and he shot him like seven times from point blank range. And I'm just sitting there and I'm just like, "You're telling me that there wasn't a better way to handle this? Exactly. Well, we're a violent nation. That's what it comes down to. We're a violent nation, and we tend to react with." To everything with violence, right? I'm like, you don't, you don't really see it in other countries when they deal with crime. I'm like, you got uh, cops and you got cops that don't carry guns, but they're able to handle their criminals. So why can't right. we? But uh, history shows that we have built our nation up on violence to the point where you know the first thing we're gonna do is react violently. To a situation, whether we're with the police or whether we're just regular citizens. Yeah, right. It, 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 like I said, it doesn't really help when, like, the fact that we are built up on violence as a country, it doesn't help when you have people who are supposed to protect and serve. They're mm-hmm. they're they're living behind that wall, and they're human just like us, and they use that wall to exert extra authority on us to to put out that type of violence. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it doesn't really help. Um. For me, um, one thing I do want to leave on, you know, there was some more breaking news earlier today. Ten NCAA coaches among, they were charged with fraud and corruption. Chuck uh, person. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, this is another thing like no shit. It's like, well, 
with this being said, would do you guys think that the doors will be blown off the whole situation of players getting paid or whatever the case may be? Because we all know that this is happening. We know that it's happening to some extent. Um, if you want my quick opinion, I don't think that the door is going to be blown off. And on top of that, the big schools are not going to be touched. Duke, North Carolina, um, Louisville already have their own problems. Pittsburgh, UConn, you name them. I don't think they're going to be uh, really touched with this. Because you look at the, the some of the schools that are being touched, Auburn, uh, Arizona. Okay, that's close enough. Southern Cal, Oklahoma State. What kind of basketball program do these guys have? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, it, it's trash if you ask me. So, I mean, I think I mean, we've had players that have come out and and spoken about uh corruption straight up and there's been no investigation. Rashad McCant said he had people yep. doing his homework for him. And he didn't even go to class. Ain't nobody touching UNC. No, nobody touch I mean, they make too much money. That Duke, Yukon, all these big time programs, no. Wake Forest, no. No, they're not gonna get touched. And they probably doing the same thing that these guys get in trouble for. Yep. So, um, DJ, you got all anything? I, oh, go ahead. All I know is if you have seen the movie Blue Chips, I know it's an older movie. Most oh, yeah. Oh, I have. oh yeah, I have plenty of times. You know the deal. You know so. yeah, you know what's going on. You know what's happening. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the whole thing. You know what's happening. So I I, I think, you know, it's not much to say on that, and I think all the topics that we talked about was very, very good. I think we all got our point across, and I hope people who um, listen really did enjoy. Um, any of the last words you had to say before we got a, um, before we out of here, Bills? Let's get DJ back on here on a regular basis, yo. We're getting the, we're getting the band back together. Oh, man, here we go. Oh, here somebody, we go. Somebody <laughs> going, I mean, D, DJ, DJ's welcome at any time, but you know somebody might make that video. <laughs> man, oh uh, man! Shout out, shout out to the Sim community, man. If it, if it was for them, we wouldn't be here, man. Honestly, yeah, we're all products. We, we like when I, I know when I started, you know, I I I prided myself in being like a lone, like the lone channel. I wanted to be off of my own, but you know, you know, ever since like interacting with the likes of like Apex with uh, Versus, I'm like. All the old heads that that have settled to the side or settled on other games like 2K, and just interacting with everybody in general. I'm like, I wanted to came across Bills or VF, uh, Smitty, Smf Ball, uh, LT Magic. I threw his name out there. Oh yeah, definitely. That's hey, another guy. That dude's a while, yo. I know, and it's 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 been wonderful. I'm like, I'm, I'm sure we. I think you, VF and I, we were on different sides at one point. So that goes to show you that it's not all going to be about disagreements. I'm like, we're going to come to an agreement on something or something's going to change to right. where people are going to be able to coexist and be able to debate and talk with some sense and get it along just fine. I'm like, another name we mentioned earlier, put him in the game. It's another cat that at one point me and him were on the same side and then we were we were very much on different sides. And then even now I'm like he comments on my videos. I know he's trolling, but it's all good. So Yeah, I agree. And I think you know, at the end of the day, I think this community I've always said I think they could grow and be something bigger, but I'm I'm really worried about people just spinning their wheels. It, it comes a time where you just like, look, I'm going to try this game for what it is. Or I'm just going to leave it alone. Cause like, I mean, me and Bill said all the time, if the game ain't worth nothing, we're, we're not going to talk about it. I mean, look, we just got finished talking about Madden. Look how we're dealing with Madden now. I mean, we can have our issues with Madden, but we're not making video at the video about why people are not playing the game no more. It's just, no. we just wanted to know why. And, and like I said, me and DJ didn't see eye to eye from the beginning. And then, and it turned up uh, a lot of things had to change the, the notice to understand that we do share common ground. And to this day, we can talk about anything. Yep. And uh, on top of that, um, I, I just think at the, I, I mean, that's just how it is. I just don't know what else to say about that. I just basically uh, just want to keep pushing people to get a, 
a better experience in their games. I, and that's what first and frame race is all about. We talk about issues, talk about how to get the best gaming experience and, and, and otherwise is, it's just not about bashing. We're just, just trying to be honest and be balanced and knowing that anybody from anybody from different backgrounds can actually come and you know talk and you know like when I first started I didn't get along with a lot of people you know if it wasn't for B5 and, and people like LT Magic I wouldn't have got started because you know B5 was the first person to actually acknowledge me when I was actually giving him pointers about a certain game and it was like yo and just and just for a second people who only know B5 online or you know from his videos like he is one of the coolest dudes to just yeah, talk sports and just anything I've, I've talked to him a couple times now and it's 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 a pleasure yo. Yeah, like, absolutely. there's so many dudes in this community that you can talk to about sports and gaming outside of outside of YouTube outside of Twitter and you will have a great conversation. You can talk for hours and watch the time fly like it did in this situation. Yeah. And if we get more of that interaction going, we will have a whole lot less bickering on Twitter. Well, that's what the, that's that's one of the main things I started this um this um this podcast. It, I mean, not even just this podcast. The discussions I used to do on my old channel. I mean, there were times I had six, seven, eight, nine people in in a call just talking about this type of stuff topics of sports game because i want people to come together and understand you know we can talk and we can actually enjoy ourselves without all the disagreements and if even if there are disagreements we can figure out why and keep it moving it doesn't it doesn't have to be a bash fest of every single game that comes out because quite frankly you see a lot of that on twitter and and i just think this is what we're the alternative so um, I hope everybody enjoyed the podcast, and I, I we're going to continue to do this. DJ, like I said, I appreciate you coming on. You are welcome anytime on here, and um, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, and I mean, I don't, I don't have anything else to say. Um, hey, and NY Kia, yo, we're coming for you, bro. You're next on this podcast. That guy. Yeah, we need first. He needs he, to he, knock he, people he on PSN not even first. A podcast. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> man. He he be ducking, man. He be straight up ducking. I tried to get him in a game of live like two years ago, man. It was like, man, no. I, yeah, I've been trying to get him on my sports game and discussion. Yo, but you know what it is? We ain't the cool kids, you know. It's not we ain't the Sim Standard podcast, so he can't come over and rock with us, and right? And this is where we close this out. Nah, I'm, nah, I'm <laughs> nah, he knows I'm playing. Nah, it's nah, all good. We, we seriously need to. We 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 need to uh, break bread, yo. Yeah, definitely. Much much shout out to the Sim Standard Podcast. I mean, every Thursday they're on. Oh hell yeah! We do. Uh, there's a member on their podcast that actually wants to come on this one. Just timing is just not right. I did speak. Hey. To, I did speak to him about that. So we're gonna try to make that happen. So shout out to those guys, and you know they always give show love back. And uh, I don't have anything else, and I guess we can close this out. Like, subscribe, dislike. You know what to do. Comment, cuss us out. It don't matter. We're still going to be here. <laughs> don't cuss me out. I was about, I'm about to say, uh, I don't think you want to cuss any of us out. Uh, Twitter fingers is something that you don't want to be. And we, we can speak just as loud on here as we can with our fingers, fam. Don't, Yo, and we don't, don't even have to use our fingers. We use memes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> memes, gifts. Yeah, don't don't do that. Man, don't come at us, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, we we out. Two hour mark, man. We out, man. Your guys, take it easy, man. Good times, y'all. Peace. Peace.